Well, hello there, Virgo. It looks like it's time to embark on a really beautiful quest with someone you hold really dear. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Virgo Tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Ooh, the quest. Haven't had this one in a while. Number two, plunge boldly in to life. I'm hearing carpe diem, seize the day. Interesting. And attune to the call. Number 10 comes back down to a one. Tune in and turn on. This feels like a really dynamic cycle. I'm hearing be brave. This one? Okay. Hmm. So something big happening. It's not happening to you. It's like you're choosing. Ooh. Okay. Show me what the quest is then. For Virgo, show me what the quest is. How often do you get to say you're going on a quest? That's a word we need to bring back. Like, it can't be just restricted to video games and novels. Quest needs to be a thing. Show me what's going on with Virgo, please. Show me the quest. Show me. Show me. Okay. Yeah, you could literally be traveling. There's the chariot there with cancer energy on the bottom. You could literally be traveling. <laughs> Six of Wands, the world, that's fixed energy. So Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Scorpio energy there with the King of Cups. Queen of Cups. Judgment, that's awakening energy. Two of Wands, Eight of Wands. Why do I feel like there's a destination wedding for somebody? I don't feel like it's yours. Because, I mean, this is you, this is them, this is the situation. I feel like this person is saying, like, the two of you are together, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, the two of you are together. And this could be your first big trip together. Say a friend's getting married in Italy, and you have to book tickets and travel. This is, it's a big, it's a quest. It, it's a quest. You're going somewhere. <laughs> um, they can't wait to tell you. They can't wait to tell you. Hmm. There's a little bit of understanding on your part of how this marks the next step in connection for this connection, which is good. It's always good to see if the two of you travel well together, you know? Happy to go. Just at least this person is. I mean, I'm sure you are too because your heart seems to be ended over here, but it's like just happy to go. Got it. There, there's um, they had to wait a little bit to see this connection further along before they could ask you. Before it, so perhaps you guys have got together a little bit more recently, and they wanted to see how things would go before making plane ticket plans, right? Okay, show me the details of the situation. The six of wands. Five of Swords, King of Wands, Leo Energy, Three of Swords, Knight of Coins, Six of Coins. So in this process, in this process, um, there is the whole, yay, we're going. Um, and along with the whole, I hope we don't break up on vacation kind of thing. <laughs> and then we're stuck together until we get home. Okay. So one of you, maybe both of you have some degree of I'm excited to go. I hope things don't go wrong. Okay. But showing up with the smile on your face like, yay, let's go. Adventure. Quest. Quest. Okay. <laughs> Show me the world here for Virgo, please. Both of those? Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Sun. Ooh. Leo Energy. Such a happy thing. Such a happy thing. Of course, there's the, there's the desire for 
this thing that was once happy to not now change and end because you decided to go travel on a quest together. No one hoped for that, you know. So try to just think of the sun without thinking of the world. Show me the Queen of Cups, please. You really don't know how this is going to go. And you're just trying to be patient to see it through instead of anxious about things going wrong. Temperance card of Sag. Show me the two of wands, please. Magician. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Nine of wands. Moon, nine of wands. Oh, good. So it looks like, Virgo, you get to the point where Pisces energy there with the moon, where we just stuff the the fear. We let the excitement override the fear or the unknown of how it's going to go and decide to be a little bit resilient when it comes to what all possible outcomes may or may not be. That was good. This is a good test of the connection. It's a very natural one. That's good. Let's do this one. Okay. Let's get into this side and see where we go. King of Cups. Let's start there for this person. I had to hold back telling you. They were totally stoked about it. Like the moment they got like the invitation in the mail, they immediately thought, oh, I want to take my new boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. But it's like, we've only been together for like three weeks. <laughs> Would a little more time go by, like when it's closer to maybe booking tickets? Kind of thing. Totally stoked on going. Totally stoked. Show me judgment. Come here. Six of Cups, Six of Wands. Okay. So Judgment, Seven of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Six of Cups, Six of Wands again. Okay. So in this process, okay, Judgment call on this connection for this person to tell you. Um, they're actually curious as to what how it is you are going to respond and how that response comes in. Helps them just helps them conclude that they made the right decision to invite you. Okay. Um, there's something they conclude that this is going to be something that brings the two of you closer. So it feels like they're just like gung ho positive. It's some of the any anxiety that's left is on this side of the board. Show me the eight of wands, please. Page of pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Is she, is this person the sister of the bride? So it's like no matter what, they have to go kind of thing. Because it's getting like there's love for the Queen of Pentacles. Like that's 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 whoever's the spouse gonna be the spouse energy. Or it could be their mother marrying or remarrying. Sure. Um but there's a sense of duty of having to be there and wanting to be there. Okay. Is, is Virgo going to be able to keep it together? <laughs> yes. Yes. In short answer. Long answer is you're going to actually see that the entire process itself of the traveling, the getting there, the helping, being a part of is going to be like a wish come true for you. Okay, it's going to expand your emotional capacity for this connection a little bit more. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay. Is there anything Virgo should be aware of before arriving? Got it. Okay. Um... I'm literally getting, um, watch your bags. <laughs> um, 
So, for example, if you guys want to put everything in one suitcase and just check one bag, that that could be a bad idea. You might want to split your stuff because there might a bag may get lost. Is basically how it's coming through. A bag may get lost, so you may want to split up your stuff. So there's higher probability of you guys getting everything that you need at the end. I mean, you'll get it in the end, but on the other side when you reach your destination. That's interesting. All right. I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see more about this King of Cups. They can't wait to introduce you to that fa their family. So we'll see what's going on with them. We'll get also the near future and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below and i'll see you guys on over there bye Ooh.